One of the largest tech conferences and career fairs of the year promoting women in the space has been completely overrun by an army of guys that registered as non-binary causing massive outrage amongst girls and LGBTQ activists. The shit's chess, it ain't checkers. We were there just purely for the career fair. Companies like Google, Amazon, Apple, Tesla, Oracle, Disney, Meta, Snapchat, TikTok were all present at Grace Hopper and it cost $650 to $1,200 for people to attend. The petitions have now started for girls to have a refund, but the problem is that who are you to judge who is a woman and who isn't? Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. Ah, uh, simpler times we man, it was simpler times back then. <sighs> no, it's a fucking minefield out there. <laughs> you don't get who's got a sting on who's no. Boys not allowed. Boys not allowed. Boys not allowed. I accept that challenge. We're here to fuck shit up. A career conference for females in tech was taken over by male attendees. They were there just purely for the career fair. Social media clips filmed at the Grace Hopper, the world's largest gathering of women technologists, show men standing in line to meet with recruiters. This is a space for women in tech. This is one of those few limited resources that isn't for you, it's for us. Well, you know what they say about the best laid plans, right? Some of the male attendees reportedly lied about being non-binary just to get in. But it's interesting that the large majority of the people that actually ended up in the event had name tags with he, him, and have no searchable history of identifying as non-binary. Oh, don't even get me started on these motherfuckers right here. Several tech workers defended the men for trying to capitalize on job opportunities not meant for them, seeing that the entire concept was wrong. Let's be honest, there is no need for a conference just for women because if it was the opposite for men, then it would be sexist. Just because you are a woman doesn't give you the right to talk to a big firm recruiter. Guys work just as hard and they don't get that chance. Bingo! Yahtzee! I'm only gonna say one thing about the whole non-binary thing here. I just find it hilarious that they find this logic really easily here, but the minute a man wants to compete against women in sports or the minute a grown man wants to share a locker room with young girls, all of a sudden that logic disappears. I mean, you all made the fucking so-called rules here. You cannot now try and gatekeep who you think is non-binary and who isn't. And as far as the whole women's conference thing is, I mean, who blames these guys? It's clear sexism, but because it's in the other direction, it, it doesn't count. Give me a break. These women are so eager to play victim, play the gender card. Oh, it's because I'm a woman. Oh, it's not because you're a woman. It's because you're not as good at your fucking job. I mean, where's the widespread misogyny? Where's the widespread gender discrimination? It doesn't fucking exist anymore. We, we take it on a case by case basis now because there's laws against these fucking things. But now you want to play victim so you can create this loophole and gain advantage over men and then call that equality, right? Well, I tell you what, these men, they're going to find a loophole right back at you. Maybe if you did better, if you worked harder, these men wouldn't continuously show you up and take all the positions that you're looking for. And look, don't take my word for it. Take a woman in tech's word for it who tried hiring women just because they were women and quickly found out that that's not always the best business plan. Talk about women in IT is usually a bad thing because basically what it says is it's okay to have lower income, it's okay to do worse than boys in the IT industry because, well, there's a world conspiracy against you, you know, people hate you, that's why. Also, I did some recruiting. I have a company. The whole thing is girls are usually quite lazy. They're just not that good programmers. Sorry, but that's true, honestly. They just don't want to get their hands dirty to do the job. When I tried to do some recruiting, I intentionally wanted to recruit women. And at the end, I failed to do so. Do you wanna know why? Because most of those girls were usually just cheating. They were just not good programmers. At the end, I had to recruit boys. And that's why I think the whole talk about let's recruit more women is bad because at the end, you're recruiting worse programmers. At the end, your company is going to suffer. And honestly, don't see girls staying up until late at their office and working that often. No, it's usually a boys. Boom. To be fair, I do think that women are more than capable in a lot of these cases, but will they follow through to the same extent that men will? I mean, maybe that's the question. You know, like Jordan Peterson said, when it comes to psychology, gen men are generally more interested in things and women are generally more interested in people, right? And because of that difference, maybe women in these, these male dominated industries, they're making a miscalculation. They don't quite understand the extent to which men will invest themselves in their work, how obsessive we can be how much effort we actually put into these things. Now look, it's not all women. There obviously are some outliers, but maybe 
the female psychology doesn't quite comprehend the level to which men will invest themselves in a thing. And because of that, it creates a disparity between women and their male co-workers. And that on top of the fact that a lot of women these days will use modern feminism and gender as a crutch and play victim, that kind of mentality means they will never be able to push themselves to the extent that a, a driven, obsessive man would. And because of that, they will never excel to the same level that men will in these fields. Now look, I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud here. What do you guys think? Women, we tired of getting disrespected. That's right. Y'all men wanna be leaders? We wanna be leaders too? Yup. Y'all men wanna get money? We wanna get money too? Money. Y'all men wanna pay the bills? We wanna pay the bills too? Y'all men wanna propose? Hell, we wanna get on one knee and propose too? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's time for us women to stand up! Don't touch me! Of course, her mother and daughter, people always ask her for sisters. My dad's a bitch. Mom, no, that's not how the trend works. Of course, I'm a mom. She took all my money and spent it, bitch. <laughs> if you get stupid, that shit, don't bleed. Be a man. <laughs> Wait. What did he say again? Do women in general want to be treated equally? or with special treatment? Um, equally. A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit. Because I don't think that any gender has is, any, is more superior than the other. Okay, because okay, all right. Then I know what you're, you're gonna ask. Do you as a woman want chivalry? <sighs> Bet you never thought about it like that, huh? Feeling stupid? Hey, thanks for watching. Just a really quick reminder, if you're enjoying the video so far, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. All that shit really helps the channel grow. I appreciate y'all. Let's get right back into it. Guys, I went on a date this week and I felt the feminism leaving my body. Oh, it is a fucking surprise. The thing about a guy's guy is he's putting his card down. He's paying for everything. And I really just it sort of activated something feral in me i'm not gonna lie he went to like another bar and he went he was gonna go to the bathroom so i was getting prepared to pay for our drinks because he's been paying all night of course i'm gonna pay for the next round but as he's going to leave for the bathroom he turns to me and he hands me his credit card and he goes here's my card get us whatever 60 <laughs> percent of the time it works every time yeah this so-called feminist has a newfound respect for a guy's guy and big fucking surprise all it took was a few bucks this is just more proof that modern feminism is all about privilege preferential treatment and victimhood anytime money's involved anytime you give them a healthy dose of the negative side of equality anytime you give them a taste of privilege outside of that feminist narrative all of a sudden their beliefs start conveniently dissolving into nothing I bet you a hundred dollars a woman drives this car. <laughs> For those of you who missed that, just take a look at the wheel. The rim is dinged to shit and the tires all scuffed up. Who has it harder, men or women? It's men by a mile. In every arena of life, they have it harder. I can tomorrow be unemployed and there will be a man in my life at some point that will say, I'll look after you, whether that's my dad, my brother, or my partner. A man can absolutely hate his job, hate his appearance, have terrible relationships with his family, and not one person, no one's coming. There's men out there who work who have that experience all day, every day, up until they're 70 years old and think if they don't go to work, kids don't eat. And there's women that experience that too. The pressure on a man is completely different. For those of you who don't know, that's Sadia Khan. I think she probably understands men in a way that most women never will. And this is really relevant to what I was talking about before, how there's a difference in psychology. You know, there's, there's an aspect to women's psychology that men will never understand because we're men, right? But there's also an aspect 
to a man's life, to man's psychology that women will never understand because they're women. The problem is women these days want to deny its existence altogether. They want to deny the fact that there's anything in a man's life that could make his life more difficult that they possibly couldn't understand, right? But as we know, there is definitely an element to being a man that weighs heavily on the soul, right? And, and I, I honestly think that's why we have the sense of humor that we do, right? Why we fuck around with each other so much. Because humor is a coping mechanism. It's, it's how we prepare for and cope with all the shit that life's about to throw at us. It's why we fucking joke with each other so hard. These guys know what I'm talking about. Conditioning, son. I'm gonna go punch a fucking tree. Come on, Sweet dreams are made. Hell yes. Life is not easy. It is not. Don't try to make it that way. Life's not fair. It never was. It isn't now, and it won't ever be. Do not fall into the trap, the entitlement trap, of feeling like you're a victim. You are not. Get over it and get on with it.